I see something. I see you're you're putting the head joint a lot far out, yeah? Because yeah. the, the, the keys are this way and the head joint is like this. It's better, I think, to have a centered position, so flat, okay. the same setup here and there, so that you're able from there to go down or to go up. Because this way you're obliged to play, to ho you're holding, because it's so far out, you're holding the flute like this, to bring it to a flat, normal situation towards you, and then you go. And there's a lot of tension here, because here you cannot hold the flute, you're not strong in this position. With a, with a wrist like this. You're strong like this, because the weight of the instrument is resting on the, on the wrist. So right now you're holding the instrument with the, out of balance, because this is not in the center, this is in the center. Mm -hmm. yeah? This is a well-balanced, centered position to hold the instrument. This one, no, it's out of balance. It goes down this way. So you're using... <laughs> exaggerating right now. A little bit, not too much. Yeah, instead of Bring the flute up like this, put the head there to go to the flute and then compensate. It's going to be too tight and there's a combination of different things that are complicating the way you're holding the instrument. So I recommend that you pull it more in the centered position. You, it will take weeks to do this. Do it gradually and, and uh, put marks here with a scotch tape yeah, and, and just little marks so that every day you know where you're standing, and you try to move it in every day by a little bit. Mm -hmm. You will get used to a new, more centered position, and therefore because the head joint is going to be more inside, you can roll the flute outside and bring it back into a balanced position, where you won't have to, to go like this. See? Because that's, uh, that's, what's, that's what's happening right now. But this we cannot do right now in, uh, in half an hour, 30 seconds. Uh, there's, no, there's no trick for this. It's something that you've got to do for yourself, for your position, and listen to your body also, and to all this tension that I can see and I can hear at the same time.